Good morning. Hey, welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. This is Jay Nicholas. Uh, we're going to tie a very substantial hollow fly. It's, it's a deceiver variant. This puppy is a good eight inches long, maybe a hair longer. Great movement. Let's get started. So I have my trusty Arex Predator Stinger hook. I like this hook. It, it's got nice length. Um, it would be difficult to tie this kind of fly on a short shank hook. Um, I spin up my thread, a GSP 150, to get it corded and get a nice little flare on my bucktail. Now here come some of these chartreuse flat wing saddles. They're long and they have awesome motion. Um, difficult for me to tell you how much I like them. I trim the butts off the feathers. In this, this case, I'm putting them on one at a time. Uh, the bucktail back there, it, it provides a little bit of support. Um, sometimes I wonder how much it really does or how much if it's um, just because we tie them this way. So I have my long flat wing saddles and then I put in some uh, strung chartreuse saddles and now I'm adding some, this is a grizzly, natural grizzly from a, a Metz Magnum saddle patch. Um, some more of the strung chartreuse. Um, this combination just gives this fly a very, very nice motion. I'm going through my bundle of flashaboo here. Hmm, what looks good? What am I going to choose? I think I'm getting some green here. Maybe some green and uh, opal. Chartreuse opal. Opal chartreuse. Point is, um, you have a lot of freedom here. Uh, we're not mimicking a specific food source. What we're doing is creating something that is uh, very emotional. So, um, while I'm tying in this first clump of bucktail, let me talk about that uh, tissue you saw me using there. If, if I get a pretty big glob of super glue on there, I, I will, sometimes I just brush it off with my fingers, but then I get a big glue buildup on my fingers. So sometimes I'll use a piece of Kleenex to, to dry, dry it out a little bit so that the, the bucktail doesn't um, stick too close to the body. So that first clump is not tied hollow style. Uh, it creates a little bit of a halo around the saddle feathers. But then I've got a, a segment of black that's tied in hollow style with some more flash. Another hollow tie in black. And you can see me working that a little bit more flash here. And you, you will find as you tie these flies, I've mentioned it many times, uh, and you can't mention it too often, these are very physical flies to tie. Um, you have to work with the bucktail. You need to, um, I'm holding the hook. Um, of course, uh, these vices are, these are excellent fly tying vices, but as hard as you pull, it always makes sense to have a little bit of hand pressure on that hook just to make extra certain you don't move it in those jaws. Um, now I've, I've chosen to put on flash between um, all of these segments so far. You don't need to do that. Um, I like it. Uh, I like it. Uh, I, I like a little bit of flash in many places rather than a lot of flash in one or two places. I think it just, for me, it, it creates a nicer uh, impression. And you see me working that, pinching it between thumb and forefinger, um, softening it up, if you will, um, to build that thread dam in front of it. So I pretty, pretty much used all these hollow ties are black. The very most rear uh, uh, section of bucktail was chartreuse. And now I'm gonna finish this fly off um, with, char I th think I'm gonna do chartreuse on top and black underneath, but let's, 
Nope, 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 nope. I've chosen to do chartreuse, a dorsal, and ventral. And I'm keeping these a bit on the short side. Um, don't have to, but I've chosen that uh, principally for appearance sake. Um, now I am crowding the hook eye a little bit. It would be, I could pretend I meant to do it this way, but I didn't. Um, so when you, when you crowd the eye, you need to work with it. And I'm going to try to cover those loose, uh, those butts and then wind back just a little bit and then work it, pinch it down as I go, rotate it. Um, I'm going to color that white thread. I've added a uh, Pro Sport Fisher Jungle Cock G3. Stuff looks great. Um, there you go. A really nice chartreuse and black. Um, what do you catch with this? You catch any darn thing that eats other fish. Look at that beauty. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Um, hope you have fun. You can get the materials here in the links below and uh, get out there and fish every chance you get. Thank you again.